Hey, hey, Queen City Gaming fans, so let's talk about getting started with Drop Zone Commander in 2022. For those of you who don't know, Drop Zone Commander is a fast-paced game set in the far future where cities are wastelands and aliens have invaded. At 10 meter, 10 millimeter scale, this is a fantastic uh, game for people who want to play huge battles but don't want to have to invest a ton of money in tons and tons of models. There are five factions in the game and they have everything from hovercraft to flyers to walkers to bombers and tons of terrain and tons of things for you to do. So let's take a look and see how we start our uh, journey into drop, fleet, or drop Zone Commander. Now the first way to get started in this game is the two player starter set. It comes with the Scourge which are aliens and then the UCM which are humans. All right, in this box, you're going to find everything you need to get started. You're going to find three tanks, three anti-armor units, two infantry units, two transports, three uh, drop ships, as well as a commander and a transport for the commander in each box. Now, this is kind of on the lighter side of models, but you get two factions in here. It used to come with a rule book, but because of some printing problems, they've been including the Battle for Earth campaign book instead. And then they're telling people to go online and the rule book is available for free along with the unit stats and everything like that overall it's a fantastic deal for the models you get in here and everything except for the commanders are plastic which is perfect for a newer player it's really really cool to see this uh, still available it's a great deal and a great way to start especially if you have a buddy i mean you both could get one of these starter sets and split the halves and have a really cool army for everyone to use now, for those of you who don't want to play with a two-player starter set, either because your buddy's already in the hobby and you're jumping in, or you just don't like the factions in the starter set, which I can't blame you, all right, there are other ways to start. Each faction, so the UCM, the Scourge, the Shaltari, the PHR, and the Resistance, all have individual army starter sets, as well as uh, TT Combat just released some really cool add-on sets so that you can uh, add to these forces. So let's talk about those. Now, those UCM fans out there can get a UCM single starter set, which is basically doubled the amount that is in the um, two-player starter set for $47.25, and all these prices, guys, are going to be through kick-ass mail order. So that's six Saber tanks, six AA tanks, 12 stands of infantry, four transports for those infantry, six drop ships, one commander in a wolf lab, and one raven transport. Overall, a solid start that can really get you going in the game and give you a solid base to build whatever force you want to off of that. Now, TT Combat also just released this brand new like bonus set you can add into the starter set to really give you a good foundation in the game. So this box retails for $47.25. It is more expensive because everything in it is res, but it comes with four of the brand new polecat buggies, which are really good scout units. It comes with two Gladius heavy tanks, one Vulcan gunship, that transports the polecats around and then two falcon light gunships so it gives you a good addition to that base starter set because it'll give you a scout unit a heavy unit a transport for your scouts as well as two gunships so you can learn all the rules of drop fleet commander all in one bundle overall if i'm starting ucm i'm going to get both of these and have a fun time playing so now the next faction we're going to look at is the phr or the Gundam suits basically so this faction focuses heavily on walkers and is another human faction but this is probably the single player starter set where you're going to get the most versatility out of the units in the box so it retails for $47.25 just like the other sets it comes with eight type 1 walkers so all of these walkers can be built in different combinations they can either be built as uh, Ares which I believe are like the standard anti-tank uh, walkers. Uh, Minchits would have like flamethrowers so they're really good clearing out infantry and buildings and can set buildings and force on fire. And then Phobos which are anti-air units. All of them are great. You're going to use a ton of them in the uh, in your army. It's really even just a good deal just to buy two of these boxes just to get all of those walkers um, and all your medium drop ships. You're going to get eight stands of immortals. This is a game of infantry. Your infantry have to go into buildings and get objectives. So it's never bad to have infantry with the four Juno APCs. These things can pack a punch, especially for an APC transport that people don't expect. So don't, uh, 
underestimate your Junos. <laughs> and it does come with both weapon options for those units. All right, and then you get six medium transports, which are the Neptunes. They don't really have guns, but they're really good at getting your walkers in range to fire. And then it comes with the new commander that came out last year, the Proteus Mobile Command Post. Now, this is different from the UCM where they had a commander and a transport for the commander. This commander is basically a ship. It flies around and does things. So don't underestimate it. It can move pretty quick. And overall, guys, this is a fantastic deal. Now then, the, UC or the PHR also got a... Uh, advanced armored battle group as well so this is a great addition to the uh, faction starter set and gives you kind of a different way to play so it retails for $47.25 just like the starter set it comes with four brand new Deanna jet skimmers that can also be built in an alternate faction with like shields so really cool to have a new unit on the table two Odin heavy walkers and two Erebus EM walkers which all of these are great that you're gonna get these anyway so you might as well just get them in this set and save a little bit of money. Alright, and then you also get another Neptune transport for the walkers themselves. So the only thing I don't like about this is you would need another transport for the other two walkers. But overall, it's a fantastic battle group and a great way to add to those forces that came in the starter set. And now if you do even buy the two-person starter set and you don't use all the walkers that come in there, you can steal one of those uh, Neptune transports for this battle group. So overall, a fantastic deal, and I would definitely pick up both if you're starting a PHR army. So now, the last human faction we're going to talk about is the Resistance. So this this set retails for $47.25. Now, don't be scared off by what little you get in here, guys. And I don't really mean be by little. You're going to get one less group of tanks than all the other starter sets, but this set is entirely resin, so there's a reason for that. Plus, resistance tanks are a lot more beefy than other um, units out there. So, for $47.25, you get a good deal, especially considering this is resin. You're getting two anti-tank Hannibals, six AA gun wagons, 12 basins of resistance fighters, three Jackson half-tracks, two Kraken-like uh, hovercraft, three lift hawks and one hydra relay hovercraft which is acting as your commander so overall you're getting a ton of stuff in this set that still can compete with any of the faction starter sets out there you know with only having uh, one um set of tanks in it overall it's a fantastic kit it's a little harder to build than the other sets so please keep that in mind with resin you do have to deal with warping issues as well as bubbles and it's built with super glue rather than plastic glue like all the other sets. So please watch out for that when you're starting a resistance force. So now if you're buying the resistance starter set, I would go ahead and get this one as well. This is the advanced uh, armor battle group, which is perfect to fit in with your resistance starter army. So it includes two patent uh, AFVs, which are brand new to the game. So super cool additions. You get one Napoleon uh, heavy tank. This thing is amazing and will rip through anything on the table. Two Zukov AA tanks, which are some of the best anti-air weapons in the game. Super long range and built on like a sturdy Hannibal tank rather than usually a lightweight AA tank, which gets, you know, wiped out really easily. And then you're going to get two lift hawks on top of that. So this makes for an amazing set for you to get to bring with your starter set. It really helps fill out that set and provides you with a great starting point for any resistance faction. Alright guys, so the next faction we're going to talk about is the Scourge. Sometimes it's pronounced Scourge, but or Scourge, but I'm going to say Scourge. Because that just feels right to me. But guys, for, and you know, all of this comes, uh, these prices come from Kick-Ass Mail Order. But same as all the other ones, forty-seven twenty-five. you're getting a fantastic starter. You're getting six light drop ships. Uh, not light, you're getting six drop ships. And you're getting six hunters, six reavers, 12 stands of warriors, four AP invader APCs, which those things are tough, by the way. I've been playing my Scourge a lot, and they're actually pretty hard to kill. Um, you're getting one despot, which is a really cool, like, walker commander, and a fantastic model. Now, he is resin, so you are going to have to use super glue rather than plastic glue to build those, as well as one intruder, which is the dropship for your commander. 
overall, guys, this is a fantastic base for any uh, Scourge army out there. They do rely heavily on their skimmers, and their tanks and anti-air are fantastic for what they do. So let's see what we can add on to this to make it a really great solid start. So now that perfect addition to the Scourge army is, of course, the Armored Battle Group. So if you're not familiar with Scourge guys, they don't like to move fast. They like to hit things hard. They don't like to take hits in return. That's kind of shown off with this set. So you're going to get four Spectre Skim Tanks, which are the tiny little things up at the front. They're a brand new kit, super cool addition, and they're riding in a Harbinger. Now, one of the also new additions to this is the Savage Laser Barge, which can be found in this, which is the old Eden's Dinosaur, which was a uh, like a limited edition commander. But it's seen new life in this set as well as in this new form of drop zone. You're also going to get two Corsair Interceptors. So this adds a ton of flavor to your Scourge fleet. Not fleet, army. And gives you some options to play along with that starter set. You get these two for 100 bucks. Great, great, great solid start. And then later on you just add some commanders and you get the perfect Scourge army. So let's move into our final faction. The last faction we're going to talk about today is the Shao Tarth. So they are an alien race, and they are very different on the tabletop. So before we go into the... Let's just talk about how they kind of function. They don't have dropships like the traditional factions. Instead, they have gates. And gates are kind of like assigned to groups, but anything can really pop out of them. So just be aware of that when we talk about this force. But you're going to get six Tomahawks, which are their basic tanks. Six Kukuris, which are some of the best anti-air in the game. <laughs> Twelve Braves. That's a lot of Braves. Three, or sorry, six Eden Gates, which are the medium, big, heavy gates. And six Haven Terra Gates. Those are the small gates. They're kind of like APCs. They can only bring out uh, infantry like models. And then your commander is going to be one Damio Commander. Now I will say overall with this set that the uh, the commander is a little lacking, but it's still a fantastic deal. And you wouldn't even go wrong getting two of these just so you can get all the plastic gates because the resin gates do kind of break a little easy. But overall a fantastic start for any uh, aspiring Shaltari player out there. Now let's look at how we can add to this force. So when I said addition, I bet you didn't think I was going to say the swift armored battle group but i am so guys this uh other set that's come out it retails for 47.25 is a great addition for that beginner starter force so this is an armored group you're going to get three Italiel grav tanks which are super cool they're really fast they play tricks on uh kind of your forces and your opponents they help they can like move stuff around the battlefield which is just funny and super cool. A Puma Sonic War Strider, which is some heavy firepower to bring to the table. One Alligator Tank, which is just overall fantastic. And then an extra Eden Gate to bring all this stuff in from reserve. So overall, a perfect addition and will go really well with what comes in the starter set. So guys, that's our beginner's guide to all the drop zone factions here on the channel. Make sure you subscribe for some more awesome videos like this because we're going to deep dive into the rules as well as some of the units that are in Conquest. I almost said Conquest in Drop Zone Commander. We're also going to dive into Drop Fleet Commander, which is the space version of this game set in the same universe. So let's spend this year learning some more about these fantastic games. And some other games too. I am a vanguard for Conquest of the Last Argument of Kings. We do talk about that here on the channel. So make sure you stick around for some more fun. Please also like, share, comment, and subscribe. And have a fantastic day.